A few years ago, thanks to the wonders of Tumblr, I discovered one of the greatest shows on modern television, Miss Fisher's Murder Mysteries. I hope you're not concealing a dangerous weapon under that skirt. I'm concealing a lot of things. That's what a lady does. Never heard of it? Well, you're missing out. And for those of you who have actually seen this show, I know you're going to agree with me when I say, you need to watch this show. This Australian masterpiece is based on a series of mystery novels by Carrie Greenwood, and by all accounts is a pretty faithful adaptation. We have a sassy, strong, sexy woman that is so unapologetic in her liberation. And did I mention that this takes place in 1920s Australia? Oh yeah. We're talking flapper dresses, outrageous furs, big-ass jewels. Everything is lush and flowing or short and sparkly. And the music. Oh my god, the music. But it's so much more than just a good show. It tackles so many women's issues of that day, like birth control or abortion or you know, fair medical treatment, marriage, gender roles, which are all, unfortunately, issues that women are still fighting for fairness on now. But we're also dealing with soldiers returning from the First Great War with PTSD. Emotions? They're really running high. This isn't just your everyday, run-of-the-mill, oh no, there's been another murder kind of show. We follow Franny Fisher. She's an upper-class lady returning from England to Australia to ensure that the murderer of her sister remains in jail. She is everything that you want in a female protagonist. Whip smart, takes no shit, and is feminine as fuck. She's the complete package that shows you that you don't need to sacrifice a part of yourself to be a complex, independent woman. She is pure femininity at its finest. Not only does she defy gender norms, especially at that time, but she lives alone, she has no interest in getting married, but she still enjoys men pretty much at her own pleasure. Franny is a sexually liberated woman in a period of time when women are just meant to be in the home. You know, the whole get married, have kids, keep house. The best part is that she is in no way shamed for her choices. Even her very super conservative Catholic companion, Dot, doesn't shame her for the choices that she makes in her life. In fact, they support each other. I love seeing women on TV get together and boost each other up. You can believe in completely different things, but still have a loving and wonderful, fulfilling relationship. Friendship is about respect. So why should Franny be shamed about her life choices? Franny is the matriarch of her own found family, one that she's collected. This isn't about the spinster who eventually finds love in the end, because she's had love the entire time. She doesn't need a man or a relationship to define her, and you have to respect that, because Detective Inspector Jack Robinson certainly does. This show was primarily written by women and produced by women, and it really shows in the female story narratives. You have such well-rounded characters. You get to know these characters. You get to love these characters. You get to really feel for these characters. They all come from different socioeconomic backgrounds. This allows the show to comment on the structures of society, not just in terms of class, but also gender, religion, and sexuality. It takes women out of the role of victims and places them in a position of power. One that helps enact justice. It's the men that are the allies. They are the supporting character. They're not the knights in shining armor. Another thing I love about this show is that it isn't this usual detectives versus the cops sort of thing. You, you know what I'm talking about. You know how the detectives hate the cops because they're incompetent and they can't do their job, or the cops hate the detectives because they're annoying and they get in the way. Yet Miss Fisher isn't that kind of story. Both sides have a huge amount of respect for each other. They've come to depend on each other. They go to each other for guidance and help. This isn't some turf war. My absolute favorite aspect of this kick-ass show is the inclusivity. Franny accepts people for who they are, straight up, or in some cases, not so straight. She lives by my own maxim. If your actions in some way hurt another person, 
we're definitely going to have issues. But as long as you're out there living your best life and being the best you, everything's pretty ducky. Everything from a female lesbian doctor to two men in love just trying to live their lives as quietly as possible. I mean, you have to remember that back then, I'm pretty sure homosexuality was still illegal. In fact, it may have been a hanging offense. But that didn't stop Franny from believing that people should be allowed to love whoever they love. Have I sold you yet? Guys, this show is amazing. It's magnificent. The characters, the costumes, the backdrop, the music. Miss Fisher is chasing down criminals and looking fabulous while doing it. So I don't know what you're waiting for. Go watch Miss Fisher's Murder Mysteries. You won't regret it. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And if you'd like to help me keep making more content like this, maybe check out my Patreon. And I believe that's Miss Fisher.